Good morning children. Sai Ram. Today we are going to study EBS 2. Chapter 1. Maharashtra before Shivaji. Now this is the video lesson of part 2. In part 1, do you remember what we have learned? Yes. We have learnt about some good kings, what they were doing for the people and something about bad kings, what they were doing every time. Bad kings were fighting every time and good kings were helping people. So what you are, what you want to become? A good person or a bad person? Good person helps everyone. And bad person always quarrel among their people. So let's start part 2. Now this is our content outline. What we are going to study ahead in this part. See the first one, Vatandars of Maharashtra. Number two, what Shivaji Maharaj did for the people in Maharashtra. Vatandars of Maharashtra. Now see the first one, first point. In Maharashtra, there were many Vatandars like Deshmukhs and Deshpandes who owned Jagirs. Now Jagir means property. Jagir means property. They were having property. Now if I tell you the perfect meaning of Jagir, Ja means place and Gir means keeping or holding. So they were having property. They loved only their Jagirs. And not their country. Do you love your country? Yes, I love my country. They loved only their Jagirs and not their country. They were loving only their property and not their country. The constant fighting among them brought great misery to the people. There was misrule everywhere. People were unhappy. Now suppose you and your brother or sister will fight at home. Suppose. Mother will be happy. She'll praise you. No, she'll not be happy. And she will punish you. Right? Or she will tell you not to do it again. So, you should not fight. Okay? You have to be a good person. Now here, what do you mean by misery? It means mental distress or discomfort. People were not comfortable. They were in stress. What noble task Shivaji Maharaj undertake? Shivaji Maharaj saw all this. Like Nizam Shah and Adil Shah, they were fighting. And even Deshmukhs and Deshpandes, they are fighting among themselves and they love their Jagir and they were not loving their country, they were not helping the people. So, he undertook the noble task of establishing Swaraj in Maharashtra. Now, you know what do you mean by Swaraj? Self-government, which would bring happiness to the people. 
because it was on justice and fair play. He first brought to book the Vatandars who fought among themselves. Now what do you mean by brought to book? To punish someone or to make them explain their behavior publicly when they have done something wrong. Suppose for example when you do any mischief at home Mama will punish you, right? Or she will explain you that don't do it again. What you have done is wrong. So, the same way Shivaji Maharaj did it. He first brought to book the Vatandas who were fighting amongst themselves. Then later on, he used them in his plan to establish Swaraj. He used them means he took their help to establish Swaraj for his work. He used them in his work. Like suppose if mama is working and she calls you, please help me. So you will help her, right? So the same way, he then used them in his plan to establish Swaraj. He took their help. Shivaji Maharaj took Vatandar's help to establish Swaraj. He fought against the powers that oppressed the people. Now he fought with whom? The cruel people. He fought with the cruel people and defeated them. What do you mean by oppressed? Governed in an unfair and cruel way. What do you mean by defeat? Win or victory over? Do you play chess? In chess, you defeat the opponent, right? Yes. The same way, Defeat means win a victory over. He established Hindvi Swaraj, which was based on justice, fair play and equal treatment to people of all caste and religions to give equal treatment to everyone. He honored the saints <coughs> of all religions. He honored the saints of all religions. Means Shivaji Maharaj was giving respect to all the saints of all religion. Now we draw inspiration from these noble deeds of Maharaj. Now we are inspired with all his deeds, right? During this period of about three to four hundred years before Shivaji Maharaj, many saints were born in Maharashtra. Now 400 years before, this is the story of 400 years before, many saints were born in Maharashtra and their work helped Shivaji Maharaj. Their work helped Shivaji Maharaj in his successful efforts of establishing Swaraj. Now, saints did some work. Even they did did some good deeds. So the work of saints held Shivaji Maharaj to establish Swaraj. Now let's start with our assessment. See the first one. 
Read the heading first. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct option. Now all the options are given. You have to choose the correct options. So which answer is suitable? Now see the first one. Dash and Dash looked after the welfare of their subjects. Now subject means people. Right. See the first option. Emperor Akbar and Emperor Krishnadevaraya. Option B. Nizam Shah and Adil Shah. So who were looking after their subjects? Who were looking after their welfare of their subjects? After the welfare of their subjects means who were the good kings? Who were helping people? Yes, Emperor Akbar and Emperor Krishna Devaraya. Very good. Let's see the answer. Second one. Shivaji Maharaj used the Deshmukhs and the Desh Pandes to dash. To do what? See the first one. Finish Swaraj. Second one. Establish Swaraj. So the, so the correct answer is very good. Establish Swaraj. Let's see the answer. Establish Swaraj. Find out the odd men out. Now, which is the odd men out among these three words? See the first one, Swaraj. Now, Swaraj means self-government. Slavery means you're working under someone. Freedom means freedom means you are free to do anything like Swaraj. So Swaraj and freedom are the same word, related word. And slavery is odd men out. So here the answer is slavery. Second one. People, subject, king. Now people means the people living in the kingdom. Subject means the same people living in the kingdom. King. Now king is the head of the kingdom. So here the odd man out is king. Let's see the answer. Yes, slavery and the other one is king. Both the answers are correct. Select the correct option. Now see the first question. Come on, read it. How were the Watandars a cause of misery to the people? First one. By their arrogant behavior. The other option, by their constant fighting. Yes, what is the correct answer? Which one? B1. By their constant fighting is the correct answer. How were the Vatandars a cause of misery to the people? By their constant fighting. Now children, for this chapter 1, Maharashtra before Shivaji, part 2, I have given you a home assignment in the description box. You have to open the link, you have to solve the assignment and you have to submit online. Bye!